For this video, I'm going to show you how to start your work drawing for the train body. So if you are using an older version of Autodesk Inventor Professional, uh, the default size is actually a size C, but the one that I am using is 2018. And in 2018, the default size is size D. So please be aware of that and make sure you change your size to a size C paper. The nice thing about size C paper is that we don't need to change our uh, title block at all. We can just leave it the default large size. So that helps a little bit. All right, next thing we're going to do is place in our view. So I know I haven't talked about this little cube in any of the other videos because we haven't really need to use it yet. But this little cube lets us turn our object around so we can see what we want our front view to be or even our isometric. So for this one, we're going to kind of lay it out a little bit differently than what you're used to. The reason for that is we're going to have to have a right side view and a left side view. So our front view is actually going to be placed right in the middle. We're going to have our top view right here, right, isometric, and then that left view. And right, we're going to click OK. All right. So let's just see, shade this in. And this is how you have kind of the layout for it. All right, I'm going to zoom in on just this one. So for these, don't forget to do things like your center marks and your center lines. So for this one, I'm going to use the center line bisector just because it makes it a little bit easier to add it in. So right there. All right. Uh, something else that's a little bit new is I'm going to show you how to kind of make, have a little shortcut for this. So all of these are the same size. What I can actually do now is kind of add it in a little notation. So cap locks or just press shift T Y P. So what that stands for is typical. So if I click OK, all right, that means that the size of this drill tool, size of this one, and size of this one are now all kind of explained right here. So I don't have to put that on every single one because that makes it quite messy and then you can't really see what's going on because you're going to have to add a lot of dimensions in for that. All right. So that kind of covers the new little pieces for this. And oh, I forgot about this one. So when you are adding in your dimensions, there's actually a note. Uh, I pre-typed it just so you don't have to watch me type it. But you're going to have a no round all edges are 0 0.1 except for drilled holes. So the reason why we have that is in the last video I showed you how to use the fill it all and round all tools. Uh, instead of having to put a dimension in for all of these everywhere, we just have a nice little note off to the side. Saves you time, makes the whole work drawing a little bit less messy. All right, and I'm just going to go over, I guess, some of the tools over here because I haven't gone over them before, and this is kind of a short video. So one that I like to use is windowed zoom. Uh, the reason for that is I actually learned how to use uh, Inventor on a laptop and didn't use a mouse. So for me, it was kind of my way of zooming where I wanted to zoom without having kind of the scroll wheel. So you can zoom in where you want. You have this one. Kind of look, works almost exactly like the home button on your keyboard. So really, that's kind of an unnecessary one. We have this other one where you can zoom in and out. OK, so just click. It's kind of just the same way as your wheel. So kind of using a wheel without having one. And then we have pan. Pan just kind of lets you move around. So those are just some new pieces. All right, so good luck on this one. Don't forget all your center marks and center lines because there's a lot of them on, the, on this one. Just a quick hint, put those in first before you dimension stuff because it's a lot easier to put them in when it's a nice empty drawing than trying to put them in after the fact. It's going to make life very difficult if you don't put in center lines and center marks first. All right, and like always, Make sure you add in your dimensions. Do not forget your dimensions.